This is a quick review of the Samsung HWE350 soundbar. So this is the second soundbar I bought and I'm much happier with the options and uh, features. The remote, a uh, much nicer remote, not as cheap of a feel. Tons and tons of features and options. I haven't even gone through most of them. I was able to hook this soundbar up to the TV with an HDMI cable. When I turn the TV on, the TV will power up and then the soundbar will come on right after. There we go. So the soundbar kicks in and you get a much richer, deeper sound. Again, when I turn the TV off, the soundbar then turns off. The HDMI uh, cable, they interact with the TV, but to get everything set up properly between my TV being a Philips TV and the sound bar being a Samsung sound bar, they, they do communicate, but it took a lot of tweaking the settings on both the uh, TV and the sound bar to get it to actually communicate and work properly. But once it did, fantastic. Turn the TV on, it comes on, turn the TV off, it turns back off. Um, it has options to adjust the uh, sync on your audio in case you're watching something that's out of sync. It has a lot of different uh, settings in like cinema or sports or news, etc., etc. Uh, it's got a bunch of other stuff. I don't even know what it does. So. It did cost us $200 versus the 100 I spent on the first one, but I think it's worth the, uh, the extra money just to have the extra features and options. It's not bad looking either. Behind it, you can see there is a second HDMI output. There's an audio output, and there's a USB port as well, and uh, hidden controls to turn it off and adjust the volume. I gotta say, honestly, the uh, LG one I had before that was cheaper, I think the sound off the bat was nicer. The sound on this one is not quite as good, but I think it's just a matter of tweaking the uh, multitude of settings. Anyway, that's uh, all I have to say about this. Just a quick review for those interested.